Okay, so this is not really going to be easy to see or describe uh, by like pulling out every cable because this thing is running and the way I, I redid my wiring in here, I can't really pull this out from the wall very easily. But more or less, the way that I have this set up is that the three, the three front graphics cards here, right, and the one there on the side, and the motherboard are all on one power supply. Um, so each each PCI Express connector from each of these four graphics cards goes into one power supply. That's that's all it all it does. That and the motherboard. So that's that's the load balancing behind it. And then um, with the SATA power connectors, I've got one SATA power connector cable that has two two leads off of it, right? And uh, each of those two leads is one connector, and it's one uh, SATA power connector per per riser. So it goes into the back of the riser, and then it's connected directly to the SATA power connector. Connector. You only have one per one per riser, two per SATA SATA connector, and per power supply. Right. There's enough SATA power connectors to provide connections for. Um, you know, enough so like one one lead and then two leads and then the last graphics card has one um, one graphics card riser and the SSD drive right so you'll have room for one left over that's that's really it's not not terrible rocket science you only have so many SATA power connectors and they're just connected to, you know, two risers per SATA power cable. That's really all it is. You know, and you get your, your risers connected to your motherboard. Of course, I'm using Z270A boards because you can do fancy shit like this and it just works. You turn it on and it works. You don't have to fuck around with it. The the bias is is beautifully fantastic and very capable because 